Now, economic struggles aside, Brazil is still a prime destination for those looking for work in emerging markets. Paulo Cabral has more on the growing number of students and young professionals that are moving to Brazil. Milena Radovic has been in Brazil for six months, working in an architecture studio. For this young professional from the Balkans, the largest country in Latin America seemed a good place to help advance her career. Uh, I'm an architect, so it's really important for us to travel and to get the, the experience that's outside of, of our country. So especially like Montenegro is a really small country and uh, it's important to go outside of it to explore the, the, the architecture since we don't have like uh, some uh, major architects as like you have in Brazil. So for me, it was a chance that I didn't want to waste. She's not alone. In one recent survey, 90% of the young professionals said they expected to work in at least three or four countries during their lives. Among the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, Brazil was the preferred destination for 40% of the students. In this office that arranges a student and professional exchanges, demand comes from both sides. Foreigners want to come and local companies are eager to have them. The companies are very open-minded. They are ready to receive new ideas, new best practice, and also to show and to exchange this culture. They will learn a lot and they will also teach a lot. So it will be a very rich experience of culture exchange. The recession in Brazil hasn't discouraged young professionals from coming here to build careers. Because of a shortage of skilled workers, the labor market remains tight and unemployment remains close to a record low of 4.9%. There are so many areas, but I would point out that the areas of greater need and growth are infrastructure, hospitality, health care, service area, and especially uh, technology. And uh, because this is a country that needs the know-how to be in this global economy. Early next year, Milena plans to return home to Montenegro, having added an important international experience to her career. But if she decides to stay, signs are that finding work here wouldn't be hard for a young, skilled professional like her. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.